Hello everyone, I'm Brown Dustings, and I've decided that I'm going to start trying to update a little more frequently, because, well, it just seems like something that I should do with this. And since this is a new Starkus Prophecy video, let's let's skip back into the poor writing, bad grammar, and homophobia that is Starkus Prophecy. Chapter 28, Shracking. Okay, guy, I know it's been a while since my last chapter, but now I have something to say on the subject. A few weeks ago, Jazzy int introduced me to something called Slash. At first, I didn't leak it so much, but s then since I knew it ex exited, and since I puberty, I finally admitted to myself that I was a lesbian! One, one, one thousand, one hundred, eleven. I mean, I didn't want to admit it first, but then I realized that it's not good to, that's not God to hide my fellings. I mean, I know I used to be a homophone, but even though I'm not happy about having to know this, I know it's for the bet. I was OE for so long because I had to real stat, and also I was potsking on the physical form. But everyone there is a stainist one, 1111, one. So I let, and BTW, I cannot believe those stupid at the did my so dear 111 they're so mean i mean what did i do to deserve this but anyway here is the chapter what a shocking turn of events i did not expect that like at all what 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 the hell just happened now she remembered starpaw ran act to the camp with a new goal she wanted to tell Everybody who she rally was. She got book there and passed Red Paw and Lake Pool on their way O2. Where are you going? Starpaw question. We're going to Stain Clan, repelled Red Paw. But why? Sect Starpaw. Being gay isn't a sin anymore. She wailed after him. It isn't, said Lake Paw, but you said it was. I know, said Star Opera. But I found out about but I found out about Slash. In fact, I've relayed that I love Jazz Pei. OMG, really? asked Redfur, because she couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it either. But we're still not going to Stin Clan, because we're also a thief. No, Starpaw muttered. You can't goo. Satin Clan is not the place for you. I should probably go and call Hawk Frost and Ashfit back, because they can be gone. Well, oh, and Flame Pelt can come back to. We'll go tell them, said Red Ufer, and she left with Lake Paw. And Starglame went back to Tamp, and when she got there, she jumped on a highland rock. Attention, all Kata of ThunderClan, she yelled. I have an announcement. The cats. They didn't do anything, just the cats. What is it, Starpaw? Thoy asked. I have a confession, she yelled. I am Star Star. Eleven, eleven. One, the large number of ones. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a second. The author. I mean, I get it. It's possible to be homophobic, and then it turns out that you actually are gay, but. What this, this author's note, in fact, this whole story, like, with lines like, with lines like, like, well, whatever, I'm going to go join Satan clan because I'm evil now. I think this might be a troll fic. I, I think I, I think I might have been treating a joke as something that was supposed to be serious. Oh my god. This. Oh my god. But what? 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 Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I I need I need to think for a while. I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. 
all this time I thought this was supposed to be serious, but no. No, it was a parody. A satire. A joke. This, this fic, it played me. Played me like a damn fiddle. And, 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 and I don't care. Well, that quick bit of overdramatic moment stuff thing, I can't word today, was completely stupid and unnecessary. This, this fic is, it may be a joke, but it's still pretty fun to make fun of. And it's also fun to pretend that I'm making fun of something that's meant to be taken seriously. And a lot of the problems that I have with this fic are also problems that this fic, if it really is a troll fic, is pointing out. So really I'm just sort of hammering the message in, which isn't entirely good, but it, it gets the point across still. Anyway, back to the story. Chapter 30, The Revel. Um, gosh, I can't blife that his has only been up for a day and you're already smiling. One, eleven, one. Stop. Juices might like get full now, but that don't mean Alex Flammers. Canada. Canada loves flames. It's how they keep warm. Are you? said Breakenfer. Why won't Kunyon believe, believe me? said Stargleam and she ran. What? of the map. Probably they won't believe you because you can't just say that you're a cat who died a long time ago. See, writers, this is important storytelling tips. Your character can't just say that they were a cat that died a long time ago. The backslash equals angry. Same. How cloud breaking for noy live her after eleven eleven. Why what why does she care so much about what breaking for thinks? Who is breaking for? And at for Avery Thine she done as a, a maxing kit. She went to Satin Clam and was in a clearing just past the Thunder Clan border. She saw all the cult who were in Satin Clan, there were Cloud tail and mouth wing eleven one eleven one thousand one hundred eleven. Lake Pond Redfer did no oh, did you tell Flamewell and Night Rainy that they cults come back now? said Stargleam. Wait, Night Rainy wasn't gay. No, we're all still uh, no we're all still athletes. <laughs> Sorry, but if you do with sports you're going to hell. Stargleam was about to go home when she realized something. Their cats were crepping toward her, 11-1. What are you doing, said she, probably creeping towards you. Satin Claw walked up to her now. He was earring purple nail polish, and three was a black stirp on his head. We cannot let you left Stargleam, he said. You know too much. T Holy leaf, come down from the shadows and turn into a bobcat, 1-1. One, one. Bobcat, that's a stupid species name. Hullyleaf ran at Stargleam. She hit Stargleam, 1-1. One, one. Sun Claw came up to her and he stared to claw her. But when that clawed her stomach, some tig inside of Stargleam herded, 1-1-1-11. One, 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 it was a kit, 111. What? Stargleam could fell her kit's pan. What? She was pregnant. Yay! See as star gleam. Ah, throws until a uh, OMG. Jazzy posted this chapter without me saying she old. I'm sorry I didn't get to edit to bro. I didn't know Jazz could use my counting. Jazzy can why? Chapter 31. Kits! To zero 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 T. This chapter. Per may just is that supposed to say toot like a really long fart? Really upset, she said she wouldn't date the chapters anymore. I think she oddness like that anymore. I'm sorry, Jazz. I lube you. This, this, this. The author's notes are just getting really deep, like better than the story even. I, I'm going off the assumption that this is a troll fic. I sure hope that this is a troll fic now, actually. 
Stargleet ran back row the Thunder Column camp, and she skided into the Menacing Tat's den. If this isn't troll pick, then sorry. I thought it was. Jay Feather, she yelled. I think I'm pregnant. One, one, one. What makes you say that? Said Jay Feather. He came out of the Menacing Tat's den. Felt my kits, said Starclem. Okay, lie down her. And so Stargate came dead, and oh, what a, what a horrible ending. And Jay Fatar felt her stomach. Oh, she yelled as he pocked a kit. Jay, Jay Feather, why? Why would you pock her kit? Those are definitely kits, he said. They look like they're going to be coming in a few days. Um, ye, a few days, said Star Glam. How did you not know this, she said. Yeah, how did you not know this? You've obviously been pregnant for however long cats get pregnant. I can ask, who's the father? said Jay Fatar. Um, said Sargleam, shitting her paws. That sounds painful. How do I say this? It was... Jazz Song. What? Jazz Song said, coming up to her. How does that even work? I'm a girl. I know, said Sargleam. But I love you. No! One. 1,111, 111, 11, 1, 1, 1, said Jazz Star. Wait, how long are cats pregnant for? How long is a cat, is a cat's pregnancy? 64 to 67 days, so like a couple months. She's been pregnant for a couple months. And she only now realizes that she's pregnant. And she somehow managed to... <laughs> she somehow managed to have kids with another girl, because... Through the power of love, I guess. Because that makes sense. Clearly. This, this fic is just... This fic has gotten better. Like, <laughs> like I can actually... I actually find this fic to be more enjoyable with all of this weirdness. Like, it used to just be, Oh, I'm Star Kid, I'm the best! But now it's, like, soap opera, but the writers are super high. So, like, Honey, I'm pregnant, but how? I'm a girl. It was the power of love. Soap opera noises. Anyway, uh, I think, I think I'm going to hit the 15 minute time limit soon so uh bye